Hey, what's up? My name is Zach, and in this video, I want to show you all about how I use Photo Mechanic 6 with my wedding photography workflow to cull photos, rename photos, and copy photos. Let's go. Also, a quick thing right before we get into it. I know my video quality is not the best. Okay, I already recorded this video, and then uh, the file got corrupted. So we're doing it again, and we're going the easy route. Okay, so don't come for me. Here we go. So hopefully you're able to see my photo mechanic window and me also, because it's important to keep me on the screen. Okay, it's fine. Um, and with this session, I actually have already culled it. Now, I know you might be thinking, Zach, what are you doing, wasting our time? You can always cull a session tighter. In Photo Mechanic, if you go ahead, you know, you have a couple different features here. Okay, so in your top right, you have this little thing that shows you, hey, what colors do you want being shown? If you check the box and then you get rid of red, guess what, red goes away. So here we go. What if I set this to, to red? Get rid of red? Oh God, it's gone, what happened? I told it to, it's fine. You just witness this in real time. What you're gonna do, my first step when I'm in photo mechanic is calling, is I'm going to assign a value to each photo. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sort so I only see the good ones, the keepers. And then the rest, I'm just gonna kinda let float off into the nebulous of space. So um, I don't think it's really important you know, to mark things one, two, three, four, five stars. I really just have a yes or a no. Like. If I have super epic ones, why am I gonna give them ones that are just like pretty good, you know? So yes or no. So for that reason, I use the handy dandy two as a yes and boom, one as a no, two, one. And the reason for this is because very convenient for my hand, okay? Two is right there, one's right there. I don't have to pick up my hand at all, baby, it's easy. And honestly, I don't mark stuff as a no unless I've accidentally marked it as a yes. Otherwise, I'll just leave it unlabeled because, you know, that cuts down my, my, my clacking by half. So whatever, it's easy. All right, this one, super good. Boom, mark it yellow. Really sweet. This one's also great. I went back, I missed it. Here we go. You know what? I like that one too, but I like that one a little better. That one's nice. This was at Bow Bridge in Central Park, baby. That one's nice. It was super overcast that day. Okay, here's something real quick. Cut myself off, cut myself off. If you see two photos back to back and you're like, oh man, that one's really good. Oh man, that one's really good. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll go back to the previous one. Boom, mark it and no. I don't really want it because guess what? I saw the better one. And these are both like good moments, but if I was doing like a blog call, then that's probably what I'd pick. Close about the ring shot. Nice moment. Doesn't do it for me right now. Okay. And that's a nice shot. All right, now we're over by Bethesda Fountain. Yes. Is this better than this? No, neither of them are better. This one's better. Do you agree with that? Let me know in the comments. I think it's super fascinating watching other people cold because it's like, oh, dude, my taste is totally different from that person's. Here we go. Ooh, this will make a nice black and white. This is all for show. I've already seen and edited all these photos. Don't get me wrong. But I gotta show you guys. I gotta show you. Here's a classic prompt. Uh, hey Nazir, pretend you're a dinosaur, and Laura, you have no idea he's there, and then Nazir sneak up on her. Uh, you know, it's a great one. Usually it, you know, results in the, the lady getting knocked over, or the, uh, the unbeknownst, you know? The non-dinosaur. So sweet. Yeah, not ideal lighting on this day, but we made it work. Look at him go. They were so much fun. They live in Queens. We went to the Brooklyn Bridge, which you'll see in a moment. There we go, there's the Brooklyn Bridge. That's a good one. I like the, I like the people in the shot. Here we go, so basically all I'm doing is I'm just hitting yes and no. Mostly yes, because like I said, my no is essentially just do nothing. Just hit next. Alright, baby, here we go. And if you want, you know, there's plenty of times where I'll double cull something. So back to back. I'll uh, cull it once, sort it, so I only see, like, my keepers. And then I'll uh, go back through the keepers and then just mark, like, uh, this one, you know, slipped through the cracks and it shouldn't have. 
and then with that I think that's a really good way to like go ahead and knock down to just like dude these are your super good shots here we go okay so now I hit escape and you see as I'm scrolling through here I got me some yellows a couple reds where I was like yeah and then I was like no never mind um, and then a whole bunch of ones that have nothing so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up to this top right corner and get rid of phew, red because I don't want those and then I'm gonna get rid of my none boom so now I'm down to 48 see that down here 48 beautiful pictures and so basically like if I was going through my normal workflow and this was a session that I hadn't already done um, what I would do is I would go ahead and hit command a boom and then command Y command Y is your copy prompt right so it pops up I don't know what all this means who needs it do I want to delete the originals heck no what am I insane I want to keep as many copies of these as possible and you could go ahead and rename at this point you don't want to do that, okay, because you don't know what angle you're going to go with for the blog um, if you're going to blog these. So just don't even worry about it, especially before you've even edited them. So then what I click is always pick destination and then copy, okay, copy. Then you'll like find your folder, da 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 da, and then you tell them to copy. Okay, you hit open, and then it copies wherever you tell them to copy. Okay, so now that the photos are all edited, uh, by the way, look at these. Dang boy, shoot. Hire me, okay, hire us. We're in New York, we're also in Florida, we'll work wherever. Come on, we got our Vax card and we're ready to tango. So basically, pretend I'm about to go make a blog post, which maybe I am, and I want to rename these photos to maximize my SEO. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit Command A, and then Command M. Again, that selects all of them, and then it pulls up my rename prompt. Earlier we hit Command Y, that was copy. Now we're hitting Command M, that's rename, okay? So I'm gonna rename these photos L plus N, Laura plus Nazir, dash, um, what? Central Dash Park Brooklyn Bridge. Dude, I can't type today. Engagement Photos. Boom. Hyphen. Here's a really cool tool this in Photo Mechanic. Is you, if you hit sequence, um, it pulls up this little brackety dude. You can hit set sequence variable and then just reset so you get a zero, zero, 001. Basically, what that means is each one is going to be like this one, this two, this three. You understand sequencing. Okay, then I'm going to hit rename. Check it out. Now all of them got renamed. LNN Central Park Brooklyn Bridge engagement photos. That is gonna do wonders for SEO and people are gonna love finding these photos. Um, so basically that's pretty much it with Photo Mechanic. It's super easy and really the like, the thing that made me start getting into Photo Mechanic as compared to trying to cull in Lightroom or God forbid, even before that I was culling in Windows Explorer by literally opening a photo, seeing if it was good or not, and then copying it into another photo folder and then just being like, yep, this is my keepers and then I would do that three or four times and I was taking hundreds of photos for like a 30 minute session because I had just started out and it took so long so I've just been you know I was looking for something that I could cull in much faster and photo mechanic was recommended to me and the technical if you're interested in the technical why is photo mechanic better and faster is because what it's doing is it's accessing the JPEG previews that are embedded in your raw photos so when you're looking through photos on the back of your camera um, it's like super quick super snappy to go next 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 because it's accessing that JPEG preview to much smaller file size but Lightroom by the time you've dragged all your you know couple thousand photos from a wedding or a couple hundred from a session or whatever into Lightroom, it's loading the whole entire raw photo for each one. And so you're wasting, you know, even if it's only two or three seconds per photo, across a couple hundred or a couple thousand photos, you're wasting so much time for it to just like spend a lot of time loading photos that you're not even going to wind up using or editing or delivering. So that's why Photo Mechanic is dope and you need to add it into your culling process. This obviously is not sponsored. I have like 70 subscribers, but I'm a huge fan and check it out. Go download it. They have a 30 day free trial. Use code. There is no code. I'm just kidding. Uh, to get your free trial today. Try it out and let me know down in the comments if you like Photo Mechanic. Bye.